going on another duck hunt today. We're gonna be hunting in a field with like a couple thousand mallards in it. It's gonna be great. Yeah, so <clears throat> we're gonna be going out and duck hunting in a field. I've never hunted ducks in a field before, so Let's see how this goes. Could be good. Mallards, bro. So yeah, we're gonna be hitting a field where we've seen ducks feeding all week long, man. It's been ridiculous, and we finally got permission to hunt it. And we're gonna be going out there with another guy who has permission to hunt on that field. And he's got a trailer full of decoys and everything, so hey, we'll roll with that. But hopefully we'll be killing limits of mallards today, maybe a few honkers, because I don't know if you guys know this, but I've never killed a goose before. So I'm kind of wanting to kill a goose pretty bad. It'll happen eventually, but things are finally starting to look up right now. We kind of got a little warming trend going and things are definitely, definitely, definitely going a lot better than they were in the past couple weeks. We kind of hit like a little, little speed bump, but we are rocking and rolling today. We're out here, we're getting all set up. These guys that we're hunting with brought a bunch, a few mojos, blinds for us to use, even though I brought my own, but we're gonna be hunting over some goose silhouettes and some mojos, looks like, and hiding in a pretty decent little hide. So, hopefully we can really put the smack on them today. Shot a whole bunch of them. I shot two for sure, but first taste of mallard field hunting. I'm addicted already. <laughs> Second group just came through and shot one. They weren't going to commit, so we shot them as they came over. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> group come in some widgeons and mallards and smoked them shoot them guys holy group look at this Thank <laughs> you. 
shoot him, guys. Another good one, guys. I've got my limit already. Four Mallard Drakes, a Mallard Hen, and a Widgeon. So, these guys are the ones doing all the shooting. Good scouting pays off, guys. So we're done shooting ducks for the day. And we're gonna wait on geese. To see if we can shoot some. Holla. Holla. Mallards, bro. <laughs> Shot my first gear. Hell boy. yeah! Well, we're packing things up and gonna head back home, and it was good. It's real good. This hunt rock. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it was almost too easy to kill a limited ducks. We were hunting this cut cornfield that I have been scouting for probably two weeks now, and we got permission to hunt it the other day, and Oh my god it was so worth it it was everything that i saw in the scouting it just kind of went together and made this hunt the way it was it, it was awesome this group of guys that we were hunting with um they brought all the decoys they had like five mojos and they brought us layout blinds to use and it was awesome they're real nice guys and i had a little bit of trouble with the video today because they said they didn't want to be in the video, which I was like, okay, that's fine. No big deal. I'm going to do my best to keep them out of it. And so that's kind of, I was a little bit timid with the camera today. I, I mean, if it was just us hunting, there would have been so much more vlogging and stuff involved. But hey, I got the bread and butter. I got us killing ducks. So Justin and I shot a bunch of ducks. I shot my limit. Justin was one bird shy of his limit. He wasn't shooting too straight. I shot my first goose today, which was awesome. I've never killed a goose. I've been trying to kill a goose for a long time, and I finally killed my first goose. So this is the last time we'll hunt this field until after Christmas. I'm going to be coming back and hunting that field. Luke will be around. It'll be a lot of fun just kind of getting to the field with a bunch of buddies. And hopefully these birds will stay true to their pattern. It's warming up right now, so a lot of water will open up and the birds will kind of scatter out a little bit. But I'm hoping we can still traffic some of those birds in. And I noticed with these birds that we pulled the mojos so then we can kill geese. But the second you put a mojo out and turn it on, the ducks just right in on that field, which it blew my mind. It was crazy. You never see that happen in water, but I guess on a field, that's what they do. Awesome hunt. Awesome, awesome. I, I freaking had a blast. It was a lot of fun. You can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My Twitter is KS underscore Fisherman, and my Instagram is Kansas underscore Fisherman. Mallywhacker Outfitters, they've got their own Instagram, which is Mallywhacker Outfitters. Go to their website, and you can pick up some of the uh, merch that we've got, hats, hoodies, decals. So that's all I've got for you guys. Stay tuned for this next video coming out on Monday. 
hoping for another good one. I'm going to be traveling down to Southeast Kansas on Friday to do some hunting with some subscribers, some subscribers, and hopefully we'll be able to put the smack on them then. So that's all I've got. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.